Hello friends, welcome again to our channel, Gene and Renee Travel Adventures. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for watching, for sharing. We appreciate you helping us grow our channel. In today's video, we're visiting the town of Guerrero Negro, located in the Mexican state of Baja California Sur. We stopped here for two nights on our way south after spending a few months in Ensenada. While Ensenada lies in Baja, California, about 90 minutes drive south of San Diego, California, Guerrero Negro is nearly 400 miles away from Ensenada on Highway or Federal Highway 1. It took us about eight hours to drive it, stopping only at military checkpoints. Guerrero Negro, translated as Black Warrior, was founded in 1957 and named after the Black Warrior, a whaling ship from Massachusetts that wrecked there nearly 100 years earlier in 1858. Gray whales calve in the lagoons of Baja California Sur, and there are festivals that celebrate this in the first half of February. One of the main tourist attractions are the small boats that take you out to visit these majestic mammals. Another main attraction is salt mining that takes place here. 9% of the world's salt comes from this mining operation. We will visit this salt mining in an upcoming episode when we travel back through the area later this summer. However, at the end of this episode, Renee is going to show you a huge piece of salt that we were given while visiting Guerrero Negro. The town is 30 feet above sea level, has a population of between 14 and 15,000. The seafood here is as fresh as you can get. The people friendly, the scenery breathtaking. <music> to Guerrero Negro and we entered into the Airbnb and I want to show you what it looks like. Cigar helps me slow down. 
right, I went over to the little fruit stand there to check to see what the price of oranges would be. And for the bag, like you see hanging there, 120 pesos, that's about $6.60. I don't know, sounds a little bit high, but I can tell you this, a lot cheaper than it was back in Florida when we were checking there. When we're coming out of Alabama and Mississippi and going through Florida, you know, remember, look back at that video. We stopped and looked at the price of oranges. Don't remember how much they were. Pharmacia Similaris, right beside the dentist office. Come in and get your tooth pulled. We'll go next door and get some pain medicine. Mm, uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Stopped at a little auto parts store a few minutes ago and got some windshield washer fluid. So should have a cleaner window. And you know, and it helps we stopped and got some gas at a Pmax back further. Actually it wasn't a Pmax, it was a different gas station. And uh, the uh, and of course they have full service and so they clean your windows and, and that's what it needed, someone to clean the windows from the outside. And I just side. hadn't had a chance to do that. We clean the side glasses too. Oh clean the side glasses too. Well, he cleaned the outside of the side glasses. Yeah. We have the inside with all the dog lickings on it, uh, nose prints. They're sweet dogs. Yeah, sweet dogs. A lot of dogs, a lot of street dogs here in, in Ghetto Negro. There's a musical instrument place back there. Now, I, I think I'm going to get me a, a, get a guitar or a... Uh, or a uh, what do you call an accordion? And I can go out here and start earning, earning some pesos when gringos come down here and eat on the beach. Got a little carnival off to the right over here in front of this uh, arena. Yeah, the park area over here is gorgeous. A lot of trees, a lot of greenery around here. Pretty church there. School moms right here waiting for their, kids. Waiting for their little chilling. Yep. We could drop Jenny off and let her get an education. That's what that dog needs is a, a good education. Maybe you should ride better and stop your whining and stop. Guerrero Negro is a uh, it's a fishing port. A lot of the livelihoods have to do with the fishing industry. And there's also evidently a place where they harvest salt. The place we're staying, and I'll show it to you later, the uh, salt, a big block of salt that the guy gave us and it's in a little container. And I'll show it to you in this video at the end of it. So stick around. I mean, it's a big honking piece of salt. I mean, like bigger than my fist. Um, driving around and with all the white buildings and all, it reminds me of the Bahamas. You and your mom were there uh, back last fall in 2022. And yeah. You did a video on that. Yeah, but where we were, Paved. I'm not so sure all of this is paved. All of this is not paved. <laughs> We're like on one of the side roads and we notice when you get off of that, uh, there's some sandy roads, some sandy trails. This church here on the right, gorgeous roof to it. Another one of those clay tile roofs to your left. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, my dream home would have the clay tile roof to it. It's, to me, that's just pretty. And plus, I mean, it's, I mean, that thing will last 100 years. It'll outlive you. Now, you put a fiberglass shingle roof on a house, and it's supposed to be a 20-year warranty to it, and you're lucky if you get 
15 years out of it. And uh, yeah, hail damage, things like that, uh, they don't last. Even if you get the architectural grade 25 year, you're gonna be lucky to get 20 years out of that. When you do a slate roof, when you do a terracotta roof, it outlasts you. On our way out of town, we drove out to an old dilapidated lighthouse. On that journey, we saw beautiful scenery and very few cars. Hey friend, it will cost you nothing to hit the like button. Drop me a comment. We really appreciate you doing that to help grow our channel. Thank you for watching this episode. We really do appreciate your support. Be sure to watch for our next video. Hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, share the video, and join us on this amazing journey of adventure. Take care, my friend. Dios te bendiga.